We've been learning a lot about CapCut, every little button, every little feature, every little element. We're going to take a pause, and I want to show you today an example of what you can create with the tools that you have learned. You've got the skills to do what we're going to do today. Let's go. Okay, folks, so every video starts with an idea. What am I making? So the idea for the video that I'm going to make today is the magic of a full moon. And that's what this is going to be about. So you'll see at the end how that all ties together. But right now, that's the concept. So what we have here is a couple of clips. And I'm going to take this second clip, this picture of a cityscape, and we're going to add it to the timeline. Now, obviously, it's not big enough right now, so we're going to highlight it and come up here and go to Basic and hit Video and scale it up, make it a little bit bigger. All right, that sounds, that looks about right. I want to get the moon as part of this scene. It's an important part of the scene, so we're going to put that where we can see it, and that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is take the, the video of me and add it to the timeline. So, uh, obviously this one is gonna have to be longer to match that, so we're gonna drag it out. We're gonna be cutting some of this first one though. So, so as we scroll through here, we see me walking back, walking back, there we go, I'm getting in position now. Now the video's starting, so we can cut it right there. Right about there. Okay, and we're going to get rid of this whole beginning clip. Bring this all down. Okay. Now, let's get all of this in, the, in view. This needs to be longer for now. This is going to get cut later, but for now, we're going to make it the same length. What we need to do is cut out the green. And you can see in the clip that a little bit of the soft box is showing in the side of the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and crop this a little bit. And we're going to crop out the soft box. And there's some little detritus there. And we're going to cut that out and bring it in. And now that's what we got a hold of. The next thing we need to do is get rid of the background because we don't need a big green screen back there. So what we're going to do is hit Remove Background. Now we've been using Auto Removal, and Auto Removal does an incredible job uh, for what it is. Whenever you have a, a back, you weren't planning on doing a removal like this. I was, and I did it against a green screen. But if you're doing it not against a green screen, then Auto Removal is it's almost a miracle what that thing does. Cheers. But, in this case, we did have the green screen. So we're going to come down here, and you'll see chroma key. We're going to click that, and the color picker is highlighted. So we're going to come over here, click that. It's getting rid of all the green. And so now, this is what we have. The older creator at large. Ah, oh, I love a uh, full moon night, don't you? The full moon above, you feel like, I don't know, empowered, like you could do almost anything. Almost. Okay, so that's what we got. And that's where it's going to end. So I want to end it with me still in, in the frame waving. So we're going to cut this here, cut this here, and get rid of these. Okay, and that's the whole clip. So now, a uh, couple of things that we see here. At the very beginning, it's obvious that I have cropped that image. So maybe we're going to start the video right here when I come in after that split cut there. So we're going to Command-B, Command-B, 
Get rid of it, little guy. Get rid of the little guy. Move that down. And now, this looks like this. The older creator at large. Ah, oh, I love a uh, full moon night, don't you? Okay, so that looks good. All right, the next piece of magic. This is the biggie. This is what makes this whole thing work. We're going to take the clip and we're going to go back to mask. And where it says horizontal, we're going to split the clip in half. And now we have just this half up here. We want to take it and make it vertical. Okay, just like that. And pull it over in line with this post. That post is going to be our, our little piece of magic in this, in this video. You'll see what it does. So now, if I come back here. The older creator at large. Ah, oh, I love a full moon night, don't you? The full moon above, you feel like, I don't know, empowered. Like you could do almost anything. Almost. That looks great. However, the pause between me walking out and me saying something, coming back into it, is too long. So we're going to cut it. And we're going to get rid of some of that. And get rid of those. And see what that looks like. Almost. Much better. Not as much of a gap. So we'll go with that. Now, at this well, point... Full moon night, don't you? The full moon above, you feel like... I don't know. Em okay, I'm about to say the word empowered. Well, what does it look like to be empowered? Let's find an effect that tells us that. We're going to go to body effects, and we're going to go to... Hold on. I picked one out. Let's see what you think. And it doesn't matter. Uh, you may like it. You may not. You'll, you might do something else, but this is the whole point. These are the decisions that you make when you're making the video that are going to make it what it is. So let's take a look at what that effect does. I don't know. Empowered. Like you could do almost anything. All right. Needs to be a little longer. Needs to go right till I go out of the screen. So that long. Like you could do almost anything. All right. Almost. I think we're going to need to have a little bit of that on the end of the clip as well. So when I come on, almost, yeah. We're gonna put that on there as well. And now when I come out from behind the post, almost, I'm still magical. Okay, all right. That's good. But now, shouldn't something happen when I walk into the, the portal and disappear? There should be some kind of exciting effect for that. Let's go to video effects and see if we see something that might work. Let's try this one. Not sure this is going to work or not, but let's see. Almost. Not quite. Don't like it. So, we're going to start another one. Go somewhere else. That could work. It's too long, but let's see what this does. All right. I kind of like that, but it's too long. So, let's bring it down. Okay. 
almost. I like that better. Let's try it again. Almost. Okay, we're getting there. So, here's something else we'd like to do. At the beginning of the video, we want to put in some text. And as I come on screen, I'm saying the older creator at large. Okay. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'm going to make it uh, fill the screen and go up to the top. I'm going to try it right there. Let's see what that looks like at the beginning of the video. The older creator at large. Oh, I, I think it might, needs to be a little longer. Oh, I love a uh, full moon night, don't you? That works, full. but it's in front of me and it's kind of distracting, don't you think? It gets in the way. So... Really easy, simple solution. We're going to take this and we're going to drag it down below me. And now, as I come in, the older creator at large. Ah, oh, I love it's behind me. That's how easy it is. Just slip it in between, put it in the layer in the order that you want it to be in, and voila. Now, something else that I think we could do with this is make it a little bit more fun. So, we've highlighted it. We're gonna go up here. We've got, uh, font size is okay. Um, let's go to effects. I think we'll go with that. It gives a good sense of a nightscape. So now, what we wanna do is hit animation. We're going to do something fun with it as it comes on the screen. Well, let's let, let's find a freebie so you guys are not burdened by that. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to do that. We'll use that. But now we need something to take it out as well. How are we going to get rid of it? Yeah, let's try uh. that. Okay, so now what it's going to look like when we run it. The older creator at large. Oh, All right, that's good. Now we need to sell this, this, this fantasy a little bit more. How are we going to do that? We're going to do it with audio. We're going to go to sound effects and in the search box we're going to put I've already searched it before so I'm going to highlight it, but electricity sound. And let's see what we got. I think that's a good sound for the eyes. So we're going to use that for the eyes. Let's see. So this is going to need to come down right in line with the eyes. And we're going to bring the sound down some. It's a little bit overwhelming that way. Let's see what that sounds like. Powered. Like it could do almost anything. Almost. All right. So what we're going to do is once I walk out of the, out of the frame, we're going to stop hearing... Right there, we're going to stop hearing it. And when I come back on the screen, we're going to hear it again. So we're going to chop it there too. And we're going to take this middle part and take it out. And now it looks like this. Almost anything. Almost. All right, and we can certainly take it 
to here. Get rid of it because we won't need that. And that's gone. So far, so good. But there's something missing. What happens when I go into the portal? I think we need a uh, sound for that as well. So, that could be good. No, we might have gotten it on the first try. We're going to scroll down a little, make some room for the next element, and it's this. And it's going to go right down here. Let's see what that does. Almost. I kind of like it. I think that's good. Almost anything. Almost. Okay. There, it needs to be. It needs to have a a, fin, a finale to that sound effect, and I think I know just the thing. You know the t the sound that a TV makes when it goes off. Back in the day, back when we were young. <laughs> That's the one, <laughs> and I love that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that right, right when the excitement ends. Bring it down here. We're going to add another layer to it right there. Let's see how that sounds. Almost. I think that little shoo makes a difference at the very end, doesn't it? Um, I think, though, what I want to do is cut that, oh, push that over just a hair. Just a hair. It needs to come on just a little bit faster. Make that one come back just a little bit later. And let's see what that does for us. Almost. I think we need to move that back just a little bit. Just a hair. Just about there. Let's see what happens. Almost. The older creator at large. Ah, oh, I love a uh, full moon night, don't you? The full moon above, you feel like, I don't know, empowered. Like you could do almost anything. Almost. All of what we just did, you've done before. You've done it on the previous videos. You're prepared for this. What All that needs to be applied to this is your imagination. Come up with the concept ahead of time. Start thinking about what you're trying to do, what the look is supposed to be, and start thinking about these tools that you have and how you can apply them to make that happen. Because there's almost nothing you can't do. It's, it's, just, it's just a miracle what CapCut allows you to do. I'm not a super expert. I'm an old guy making videos and learning this stuff as I go. I've got a couple of years ahead of you, but guys, this is all in your hands right now. Nothing is missing. You can make this video from what you've already learned. So let's get to work, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Have some fun with it. Get some ideas going. Start playing around with some of these elements because all of them are at your fingertips. Don't forget, like the video if you did. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, leave comments. Tell me what's going on. Help me out. Help me create the videos that you want to see by telling me what those are. Okay? And until the next time that we meet on The Older Creator, I'm Bruce, and I'll see you.